Hikaru shakes his head in disbelief. He thought he would walk all over his young GM opponent. He slides his rook across the board and slams the clock in frustration. 13-year-old Prague is crushing him. But how did we get here? It's the final round of the Tata Steel Chess Blitz tournament in 2018. Hikaru has won 6 out of 8 games played. He was cruising towards winning the tournament. However, he severely underestimated his grandmaster obliterating opponent. Prague would take Hikaru for a wild and painful ride. Hikaru is known for pulling some questionable faces while playing intense games of chess. Today would be no different. Both players swiftly shake hands and the match begins. Prague launches his knight forward to f3. Hikaru quickly responds with the queen's pawn to d5. Both players blitz out their moves until we are left with the king's Indian opening. Hikaru pauses to think momentarily, stroking his beard before pushing his pawn to d4. This tells Prague that he is looking to control the center of the board. The player with central control normally has the advantage. Prague promptly pushes his pawn to b4, sticking an imaginary middle finger up to Hikaru and telling him he wants to fight on the queen's side instead. They both finikido their bishops creating sniper scopes that see across the board. After some deep thought, Hikaru pushes his pawn forward, striking near white's vulnerable king. Prague quickly captures the pawn. Afterwards, Hikaru develops his knight to c3. Prag hits the tank, thinking for 20 seconds. Nakamura pulls a classic face of disapproval, then proceeds to plonk his knight on b4. This is a strange move as he disregards bringing any of his other pieces off their starting square. Why would he do this? A few developing moves take place. Soon after Hikaru plays the powerful move knight to d3. This explains why he played the strange knight move earlier. The knight covers a large portion of Prague's territory and is extremely dangerous. After a little thought, Prague pushes his pawn to g4, attacking Hikaru's bishop. This is a bold play as it leaves Hikaru's knight in its strong position and simultaneously weakens the structure around his king. Some peace trades take place and we are left with this position with Hikaru's queen and bishop pointing dangerously towards the weak pawn on h2. Black is winning. But how does it all go wrong for Hikaru? Prague completely disregards the attack, allowing Hikaru to capture the pawn perilously close to Prague's king. He shuffles his king out of danger. Hikaru captures the bishop, has he completely forgotten that that black king can now capture his queen? Of course not, because after some swift peace trades, Prague also has to sacrifice his queen. After all the smoke clears, Hikaru is up one pawn and still winning. Both players now have half their time left on the clock. Time is running out for Prague to crush Hikaru. As we reach the middle game, both players launch forward their armies, hoping to gain a crushing grip on the center of the board. After some shuffling moves, both players have their rooks on the e-file. Connected rooks are very strong, both sides blasting down the board like cannons. Prague holds his head, his brain moving at 100 miles per hour. What weakness can he exploit in Hikaru's position to give him the victory? He slides his rook to d1, challenging Hikaru on the open d-file. But his clock is now at 30 seconds, time is seriously running out. Both players transfer their rooks to the d-file, and one from each side is traded off. They must both now gobble up pawns with their remaining rooks. Hikaru is now up two pawns. Everything is going smoothly, he is cruising towards victory. But then he plays the move that costs him everything. Pawn to e4. After Prague plays bishop to f4, he realizes his blunder. His face looks disgusted. He cannot stop his pawn being captured on c7. Now he is only missing one pawn. Prague is back in the game. But with less than 15 seconds on the clock, how does he pull it off? The game's tempo suddenly increases with both players violently throwing their pieces forward. They want to create a passed pawn. If either side manages to promote their pawn to a queen, it will result in certain victory. Prague has one white pawn which is further advanced than Hikaru's two black pawns. But after bishop to d7, Prague captures a pawn. This completely obliterates Hikaru's advantage. He must now hold on for dear life and play for a draw, but can young Prague win the game? Pawns are pushed forward aggressively in both directions. But these pawns are unable to make it across the board to promote as both are captured with each side's rooks. We are now left with a rook for each side, with a knight for Hikaru and a bishop for Prague. They both play quickly hoping to beat the other player on time. However, Hikaru realizes that the position is a draw, shaking his head in pain. The 13-year-old has managed to recover a game that was so miserably lost just a few moves ago. They shake hands, and Hikaru disappears off into the distance.